My friends, sirs and madams, I have concluded. Remember, I don't know, two years ago, a year ago, I said I take a long time to conclude to make sure that I'm correct. Sometimes people priori conclude and this is not the arena we want to be doing this in with gang stalking uh, because of uh, how difficult and complex that it is. But I had most definitely concluded the thing that we are experiencing is the collective unconscious. Now this video is the collective unconscious community gang stalking and the hive mind of the organic portals. That's, that's the title in my mind. So whatever it comes out as exactly, this is the title, this is what we're talking about. Now, let's get to the evidence. Firstly, um, you'll have seen a video, I think a few weeks ago, same simulation. I didn't throw up part two. And in part one, that is up, you saw a police lady standing next to me on the bus. And that I was basically saying that this happens so many times that is not what we call a happenstance. Random. Nothing in this universe is random. Right? If you still think that, you're lost. But I'm found. So I see. Now, after that video, I didn't publish Same Simulation 2 for a certain reason. But when I publish Same Simulation 2, you're going to see an airplane. One of the little light airplanes. 20 minutes after that first video, Same Simulation, I was on the beach. <clears throat> because I said I was going to meet my friend on the beachfront, they sent a plane. And I have the proof, because it circled me five times and fucked around. It is very obvious. Now, let's move straight on. Today. Why would you, why would you paint that? Now, this got painted. It's an old lady just looking. This got painted when I used to come to this bus stop here. My friend there, Edgardo, he, he used to wash my clothes for those two or three months that I was in the bush here. This is at Salinas place. And they painted that painting of an old lady looking, viewing, right, while mm. I was going to that bus stop. I mean, just more simulation silliness. But why would you paint that? Like, what sort of a painting is that? It's a, it's a lady looking, and it's only the eyes, right? So, yeah, we see. So, I just wanted to put that on video, because that's what it's like here. They are viewing, like, so much. Like, right now, me talking in English, if there was less wind, bad idea. Because there's so much wind, probably nobody can hear. Yeah, that's, that's how bad it is here in this place. Like, how much it's... I'm telling you, Uruguay has the East German Stasi resonance just like East Germany had the same resonance as the Pharaonic Egypt. And you can see the tasteless architecture here and the Stasi nature as well. The, the insane control nature. Those resonances are here now. Okay, barely anything to do with what I'm talking about, but God damn, is that picture, that painting obvious. Now, that picture was painted there when I was going to that bus stop for several months when I was living in the bushes, and that's where I would have to meet Edgardo to give him my clothes. And that's directly, uh, direct, directly the route or the, the highway uh, from where I was staying, staying. So if you walk down to the beach in a straight line, you get to where I was staying. Isn't it interesting? Also, it's in blue, archons, <clears throat> and watching, watches. Now, anyway, that's just a little, little bit. So I'm down here. I'm digging, look at all the, all the holes. Digging my stuff up. Then, I see, now, this is why, look, hold on. At the moment, I'm, I'm just sitting here, I'm back off the bus. I'm sitting here at this monument because, oh my God, this guy. He just walked back past again. He's a stalker, for sure. Now, this is part of it. He's not even looking, you say, yeah, but it's an unconscious thing. It's a 
grid that is the collective unconscious. This is the discovery. Recently, Veronica sent me a, a video, which I haven't viewed yet, and she was saying the collective unconscious is what was driving Zhang, Carl Jung, the famous psychologist, mad towards the end of his life. Because no doubt he would have been gang stalked like crazy. Can you imagine how gang stalked Carl Jung would have been? It would have been in the orders of me, of you know, as much as you can be, all day, everywhere. He was doing like you know, full on like crazy spiritual work. His psychology. He would have been gang stalked up the yin yang. And apparently, it drove him mad towards the end of his life. Now, I haven't looked at the link yet. But it's very interesting because recently I put out a video called uh, where I was, something Vecinos, uh, Vamos Cerebro Uruguay Vecinos, which was a little trick of mine uh, because I've discovered a telepathic hive network and that is what the collective unconscious is. That's why they seem to not know what they're doing or pretend that they don't know what they're doing. Because there is a world and it's double, as Terence McKenna used to put it. He talked about a bifurcation point and an evolutionary bifurcation point from the Christos, you know, the zero date, 2000 and 22 years ago now, you know, zero AD. And that there's part, some, some part of us, some some part of our species that has gone internal and had a hyperspatial bifurcation and is now about a thousand years more evolved than us. And that's when you look at the dumb monkeys before you on the street. That's what we're talking about. How they're like, huh, what? And they appear to be walking corpses. As dumb as dog shit, am I right? You all know it. They appear like I don't know, like empty, you know those little dolls, that embedded dolls, that game, it's like the Chinese embedded dolls game where you have to find the dolls, the little, the littlest doll in all the other dolls. It's like you can knock on these people's heads like they're empty, right? Now, the thing that, and so there's no way, and you can see the schism, we've all realized the schism now that there's no way that they are intelligent enough to even gang stalk us the way that they do. Correct? So I've uncovered it. It's happened. Because it happened today again. And today it happened so gnarly, so crazily, that I'm concluded. And all the, all the information for me is together via my visual viewing of my environment. The indirect chatter. That's it. That's the hive. Yeah, we call it the hive mind, but that's the collective unconscious. They're not, they're not aware of what they're saying. You know how some of you have commented, yeah, they walk past and this guy said this to me and his wife said, what did you just say to him? And he's like, oh, nothing. That's because they're not aware of it because it's called the collective unconscious. That's, what, what, that's what's going on here. Sorry, I'm just looking around the monument to see if I'm being spied on right now <clears throat> so i'm not high i'm uh clearly talking uh you know very uh articulately so you could not say that i'm in some stupid state of mind i've not smoked for days i've done nothing i'm very very sober right now thank you very much so now let's get to what happened today because it's happening every time I go to this town which has an obelisk and I made a video called the most gang stalking town I've ever been to it's about this town I made that like a week or two ago and then this happens again it's like every time I go there because and I know they're monitoring my uh, messages with Edgardo because I get flowers or cannabis off him and sometimes some other stuff which is less legal and <clears throat> this was one reason I couldn't publish uh, same simulation too because I said something on the end of it I don't want out there yet but one day you will see this video I'll call it same simulation 2 and you will you will sit there with your mouth dropped at how the plane maneuvered around me so today I go I go un, uh, unbury another bag now that spots luckily finished so next time they're waiting at that spot they won't have any luck again F you fucking gang stalkers so 
what happened was basically this is all the clothes that I buried from back at that uh, a year ago when I had lost my bank card and had to dumpster dive you all know the story it's a that's why season four of Man vs Matrix is missing and I haven't published it yet because I don't want to give them evidence because there's rubbish around the place and I don't know what charges they could conjure up on it but I don't even want to give them anything you know what I mean so now let's get into this that's already in interesting enough this all connects so we all know that my gang stalking color is fluoro and now at this new apartment I've had an incredible amount of gang stalking of fluoro you're gonna see it now the people below me must therefore be connected to this community gang stalking network which is not even the hive we're not even talking collective unconscious yet that because I can hear them physically speaking <clears throat> and I'm hearing them saying for the last few days they're gonna try and uh, make a big case on me because there's been these police these federal police that have followed me around the country for the last five years one of them was the number one policeman in 2016 or so I heard and he has to keep coming out to the places I'm living including the shack to chase this other like bad cop who, who almost came into the shack property illegally who obviously is a full-on gang stalking cop who doesn't you know do things legally and he, he keeps coming to try and stop this guy this is why I know all this because I keep hearing their conversations from an incredibly long distance away because that's how good my hearing is I'm like a cat man and they figured this out now so they now stand two streets away no this is not a joke I wish this I wish I was joking about all this um, oh my god I have an agent coming I'm just gonna turn the other way and keep talking <clears throat> all right so I don't want to distract myself this is very important this is the discovery this is it I've made it to it do you understand like this is I've picked up the stone now this is the philosopher's stone I'm picking up now now what's interesting is the people below me said they're gonna try and make a big case on him uh, because I didn't pay out of certain few camping grounds and those certain few camping grounds one of them uh, the Periopolis lady uh, she actually added my Facebook because you know they had my name from my passport now she's added me on Facebook I blocked her and all that but uh, this shows me that what I'm hearing the people underneath me in the apartment below me say who bang on the walls by the way one of you recently commented you have people banging on your walls yeah they did it to me I recorded it too hopefully it's here I think it is here and I haven't uploaded it guess what they're listening so intently that when I recorded back the little recording recording there banging that they heard me play the recording and heard their banging in the recording and now they no longer bang on the walls because they figured out that I was going to start recording it all because they would cough all night and the old man would cough only when I would reach zero point remember the video a long time ago when do organic portals attack and I said when you know a year later I realized oh it's when you hit the zero point when you're completely relaxed and you go off their hive pain grid when you disconnect their when you disconnect their mental suckers uh, they have to put their vampiric suckers back on you and so they cough coughs shock me and it brings me back uh, above the surface again and then they can attach to me again and then I'd fall back asleep all the bad energy come off my nervous system and on the last little bit when I'm full relaxed the push cough and it's always the same cough isn't it it's not even a normal throat clearing cough that the gang stalkers do it's always a, like a push cough and it's always the same how can it be the same cough over a million different people right what we're discovering here is a hive mind and we're talking now about a collective unconscious which is a, a double world beneath the surface or in a hyperspatial fashion and that this is very very real this is I'm not conjuring anything from anywhere and if you haven't discovered this bad luck to you because I tell you what this is the discovery of, of the lifetime this this uh, reveals this place now 